Hello, I'm Greg Barlow and I'm one of the elders here at the Crossing. Today I'm going to be presenting day 15 of our 21 days of prayer. And as I read over this initially and prayed on it over the last couple of days, I felt like God has guided my heart. When you hear the content of today, it will strikingly remind you of the political turmoil and the emotional highs and lows that all of us have been going through over the last couple of weeks. No matter what your political affiliation, it saddens my heart to think that the United States has become so divided, particularly when we need that unification right now more than ever during this time of crisis during the pandemic. Our scripture today comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths but only such as good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. I think that's certainly worth repeating. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. Pastor Kenny has talked about this in his messages the issues with social media can spread these ill feelings so quickly around the world. You know, in years past, before we had such means of communication, it was mouth to mouth, word to word, maybe uh, various periodicals, printed word. But the things that we have access to today can spread these fe these feelings and these these emotions so quickly that it becomes very difficult to keep yourself alienated from it. I ask each of you to look deep inside your hearts and go back to the bracelets that people wore just maybe 15 years ago, WWJD. What would Jesus do? You know, Jesus served as a perfect example for us. Not that we would be perfect because we're only saved by grace. But ask yourself, before you post that, before you say that, think of this passage from Ephesians 4.29. Is that what Jesus would do? Would you pray with me, please? God, my desire is to be an extension of your grace to others. I don't want to be quick to judge or quick to assume, but to believe the best in others. I pray I am continually transformed into your likeness by understanding your grace for me so I can extend grace to others. Help me think before I speak and listen before I respond. May the words I speak build others up, increase my awareness so others can feel grace kindness, and Christ-like love. I pray you would help me grow daily in giving grace as you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.